All right, we're talking about how to do a CDNT. We still have the cap on the needle for some demonstration purposes of the different areas you can do it. If you have the lamb with its leg bent like this, it makes so, the skin a lot looser, so there's a lot more gap. So when you pull up, it's called making a tent, and you, you're gonna stick it under. You don't wanna let the needle touch the, the meat or the muscle. You don't wanna go in, you wanna go right in the open part of the tent and um, just in the loose area there. And then when you uh, aspirate, you wanna make sure it doesn't, um, that it's free <laughs> coming in and out. You wanna make sure you haven't let the needle go all the way through the, the skin where it comes out the other side and uh, that it's just in underneath. And that's a good way to do it. If the <laughs> leg is tight it's it's um, or stretched out or they're standing up, you might have less loose skin to go under. Another area that's pretty common, it's a little harder to see what you're doing, but there's not so much wool, is it would be their armpit. See, there's no wool there. You can pull that up and you can go in. Maybe maybe less, uh, less area to go in, but it still works good. You wanna make sure you, this is a place where people go through, completely through. So you wanna make sure you're in. You wanna make sure you don't touch the muscle tissue just in that hollow place where you've tented up. <laughs> Those are two good places um, that you can go. And you want to keep him calm and relaxed. Doesn't hurt, but sometimes when the needle goes in, they're going to flinch a little bit. You don't have to do it aggressively or fast. Um, I think it's going to be a little easier for us to do the demo here on his leg. And it, like I say, it doesn't burn anything. Make sure all the air is out. With this particular vaccine, you got to shake it up when it's in the bottle. And sometimes if you take too long, it'll settle in the syringe. So you want to shake it up. Make sure it's it's well mixed in there. Make sure the air is out. All right. So whoever's holding doesn't have to restrain him terrible, but um, just make sure he doesn't move during this thing. <laughs> so T, tell us what you're doing as you go. Well, I took the lid off <laughs> and I'm tenting the skin here. Then I go in, Fair I feel for the needle. Then I aspirate, which is to pull back. <laughs> and I push in. Sometimes I'm not up, so you just rub it. It doesn't really hurt him. If you don't jab him with the needle, he's less likely to flinch. And uh, it's a happy baby. Yay. Very nice.